I drove around the whole city of Detroit buying corned beef. Deep Motown Deli versus Bread Basket versus Rob's Deli versus Mr. Corned Beef versus Lou's Deli. Who has the best corned beef sandwich? Early predictions, I really don't know. First runner up, the corned beef sandwich from, from D Motown's Deli. All right, D. Big D Motown, I see you. When it comes to D Motown Deli, there's a couple things I noticed. Toasted rye bread, they give you a lot of meat. I see the Russian dressing. The sauerkraut is underneath all the meat. And it's very, it's very soggy. And I'm not saying that's a problem, I'm just saying it's the first thing I recognize. When it comes to the flavor of the beef, it does have that subtle beefy taste with a, a slight sour taste to it. Just enough to let you know that it's there. The sourdough on this thing, I will say, is really thin. And I feel like that's what's throwing this whole sandwich off because I really can't enjoy it because this meat just sliding everywhere. And I also wish they would have given me an even amount of sauerkraut and Russian dressing so I can taste that sour taste a little bit more. Overall, for the most part, it's just a soggy sandwich, but it's not bad. I wish the bread was a little better. This next corned beef sandwich comes from a place called Mr. Corned Beef. Oh my God. Look at all the meat in that motherfucker right now. Mmm. This one is really good. So for one, at Mr. Corn Beef, they give you a lot, I mean a lot of beef. And they toast the rye bread, and it has Swiss cheese and Russian dressing on it. As for the meat, mm. the meat is a lot more tangier than the first one I had. What really makes me happy about this sandwich, they gave me a whole lot of meat they gave me a sufficient amount of sauerkraut, a good amount of Russian dressing, and they toasted the bread. Toasting the bread just took it over the top. That's gonna be tough to beat. This next one right here comes from a place called The Bread Basket. Let's see if you can see the meat on that. Mm, this one is, man, this one's all right. So this one's on rye bread too, but the rye bread is not toasted like the other two sandwiches I have. But they do give you a lot of meat. They give you a good amount of cheese. It looks like there's cheese on both sides of the bread, which I like. When it comes to the beef, it doesn't really have a sweet, tangy, or distinctive flavor at all, but it does have a strong, beautiful, beefy taste that I, I just can't get past. The beef flavor on this one is really, whew, it's really nice. This next one comes from a place called Rob's Deli. And as you can see, the meat lace is crazy. Mm. Oh man, that's tough right there. That is tough. So I got the sourdough bread. It's not toasted, but even though I've been spoiled with the other sandwiches, that's okay. Got cheese on the top part. I don't see any cheese on the bottom. For the price, they give you a lot. I mean, a lot of meat. Now when it comes to the meat, the meat is good, man. I'm sorry, that shit is real good. It has a nice beefy flavor, but it's also a, a smidget, a smidget sour. And I'm gonna be real with you. They gave me some Russian dressing. I'm not sure why they didn't put it on here, but it gave it to me on the side. Mm. Oh my God. For one, the Russian dressing, amazing. If this whole entire sandwich had the Russian dressing on it, this would be tough. And I mean, tough to beat. It still is tough to beat, but it would have been a, it would have been a problem. Last but not least, this last one comes from a place called Lou's Deli. This thing comes wrapped up in a, a plastic bag. And just so you guys can see this right here, this is low key uh, a double decker. Hell, it might even be a triple decker. Uh oh. Uh oh. This one right here, this one of them ones, man. This one of them ones. So the raw bread isn't toasted, right? But let's just let's just push that to the side for a second. You understand? This one has sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, Russian dressing with the corned beef. I'm not sure if I said this already, but all the sandwiches I had, I requested sauerkraut. If it wasn't on there already. When you bite into this, it's immediately sour. You're gonna taste the sour punch first before you even taste the beef, which is not a bad thing. I'm just saying some of y'all might not like it sour. This is sour. When it comes to the beef, it doesn't have a briny sour taste, but it has a low profile beefy flavor, right? But Lord knows, when paired with this sauerkraut and Russian dressing, this sandwich right here is probably gonna be tough to beat. I mean, they have it layered with, with, with corned beef, sauerkraut, and Russian dressing. Mmm. You don't taste the Russian dressing initially, but it has a Russian dressing finish. That one's wild. That is really wild.